Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And in this episode I want to show you a simple way to uh, cool a room down. So my sleep lead growing room, it's generally cool in most areas, but kind of near the doorway here it's warming up, it's uh, above zero. And down here it's barely, it's close to zero. So what what I've seen in the forums and other people do is basically what we're going to do is we're going to build a liquid pump kind of at the bottom of this room where we've got really cold polluted water, it's like at negative 18 and we're going to pump it up and we're going to make kind of a radiator using the pipes along here and then we're going to bring it back down and dump it on top of this wheeze wart and since the wheeze wart kind of cools the air down here um, when the cold water goes over top of the wheeze wart, it will cool the water. And this cool water, as it goes through the pipe, is going to generally cool this room down to about the temperature of the water, minus 18. So I'll take uh, the pipe and kind of draw a kind of radiator throughout this uh, area. So we'll go along here. and down this ladder and exhaust it, uh, dump it right here. So it, now that we have a little bit of polluted water here, we don't. it should just be a closed loop and um, it, this polluted water shouldn't go up or down. If we get too much in here, we can always mop a bit, mop a bit of it up. So here we go, we got the uh, all the pipe built out, as you can see here. And the pump is built and powered. So if we kind of watch this polluted water, it's going to make all its way all the way through here. And because we uh, used granite pipe, which is not the best insulator, um, the cold the coldness of this water will kind of leach out into the air and cool the room down to the temperature of the water. And so this, wa this water will start at about minus 20, but as it kind of cools down the room, it might, it should increase in temperature. Uh, we can take a look at the end when it's made its way all the way through. But then when it comes back down and it dumps on this wheeze wart, it'll cool back down again and dump back into this area. Now if we find that it's um, heating up too much as it cools the room, we can add wheeze warts. So we could put another wheeze wart here and another wheeze wart here, kind of in a little triangle formation. So we'll just kind of let it run for a while and see how it how it's cooling the room and how how well it works. So as you'll notice, the water down here is about minus 18, actually minus 19 to about minus 20. So as it enters this pipe, it's at minus 19, if you look inside the contents here. And then after it's gone through this whole room, it's at minus 17. So it's kind of lost three degrees to the air. And then it should cool back down as it dumps back over this wheeze wart here. You want to make sure you use granite pipe. Um, Another option is wolframite, but it's very rare, so you might not have enough of it. And it's even it's even a worse insulator, so it'll dump heat or coolness out of the pipe even quicker. So I made a slight change um, to this radiator. I added a few extra kind of twists along this column here, just so that this area would get cool as well. It was right near the door that was getting warm anyway, so... And I also added a second wheeze wart down here just to, for extra cooling. And the reason I use gas permeable tile here is that so the water can kind of drop and drain over over top of this and then down here. As long as it's hitting the cool air around the wheeze wart, it should be getting cooled down. So this water is staying at around minus 20, which is nice. So even though it's heating up as it goes through here, as you can see, it's like minus 17 coming in. It's uh, it's kind of staying at minus 20 inside the water here. If we needed it, we could add a third wheeze wart just to cool things down even more. Now the other thing some people do is is to create a gas pipe out of um, something like granite and create something that looks like a bit of a spiral, so like this. And what this is going to do is it's going to kind of spread the coolness around here. So the air from the wheeze wart will cool down the pipe and keep this area really cool. 
So we watched the content or the temperature of this gas pipe. It started at two degrees and it's already it's cooling down to the room temperature. And the air from these resorts will, will cool this down as well. So it, it basically increases the effect as the water falls down across this cool pipe. It should uh, cool the water down even more. You can also use this method of cooling um, right above a geyser. So I could have something similar to this and carve out a spot above the geyser and circulate the water, flow it over wheeze warts, and it would cool the geyser water. And this isn't my idea. Um, someone in the forums posted it, and I'll provide a link to that post in in the description of this video. It's pretty ingenious. It's uh, there's way more elaborate ways to cool water using like cooled hydrogen and I've tried that in the past and it works but it's way more complicated than this simple system. So if you like this video um, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to get alerted on future videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always uh, thank you for watching.